Hello and welcome to another video of the EXO Photo Lab 8 and in this particular video we're going to especially going to look at the different options of the local adjustment not the global part because I think that everybody kind of covered all of it um, we're going to pay attention to the local um, adjustment which is quite interesting because we have a lot of uh, tools available and I selected this video because you know this photo is quite busy you know we have a lot of trees and lot of area and I'm trying to pick between this image or this image because um, here you have the sky to work on you have the the ground to work on to be honest with you I think I'm going to keep this photo um, use this photo as an example in order to show you um, uh, the power of the DxO uh, photo lab 8 especially the local adjustment so let's not waste any more time and by the time because you are here you can take advantage of the description below and then click in the link in the description below in order to um, the, the, the the try out for yourself so we are at the local adjustment so uh, we are going to take a look at the local adjustment the first one which is the power you have by the way in the new tool you have a new hue mask instead of um, instead of the this one control point we're going to straight away go to the hue mask so hue mask you click it and then let's say you select the sky now sky is blue i mean obviously uh so he's going to select all the blue hue of the image so i'm guessing it's selected um the the the, the bottom part for example you can see that it's selected here and um i think it's because at the shadow area it's also blue so obviously it selected the blue that blue uh, what if i go a bit more up high and then at the bottom you can actually find you in it does it remind you of something it's actually quite a common tool to be honest if you use uh, the vinci resolve if you don't know the different results is the editing software and there i'm going to show you right now if i click it we're going to take some time so in the vinci resolve you do have like even from last five years or ten years or so um, had some extraordinary quality of the color editing so it does more or less the same thing which is uh let me open an image for example this one this project created in an older version of the damage reserve once you upgrade it only can be open okay let's let's just upgrade it anyway let's not waste any more time and aha uh -huh, i have one image available so if i go to the color section select the dropper and let's say if i select uh the sky there you go that's a good example so I'm going to open this one up. Sky. You see at the bottom, it selected the hue. And if I go back to the, the DxO, it has exact same tool. Now, just like DX, the DaVinci Resolve, you can fine tune it, whether go really far to have a nice fade. or be very precise then you can control the saturation let's try to saturate the hell out of this guy to show you exactly what i mean by that so you see that it's, it's uh, doing a little bit of work on the sky same with the luminance so probably if i you can go left and right and control the luminance as well uh, i can reset the whole thing check the dropper go up on the sky and you can see that in this area it's selected just the sky on the top mm, and i forgot exactly to show you in the max the mask directly on the image but you get the idea so i'm going to close it so this is exactly what it does so hue you select the hue and then you can fine tune it as you prefer sometimes it can go really far sometimes it can go really close 
you can even precise it even more if you want to let's go as close as possible even more and then let's say it's still kind of quite um, we don't want that bottom part to be touched what do you want to do you want to to be honest so i'm going to take that on up in the sky there you go it's much better you could uh, brush it off when you say brush it off i mean to say hang on a second the hue mask there you go that's the one um, for instance i can go even close as usual as i were put it a bit more on the side and then you can select the brush and brush the floor as much as you can and as much as you want and then you go back to hue and that's about it still you see that it's selecting the bottom part as well so to be more precise you can go and select it and then even go even farther and select even more pretty much okay we're going to stop there but i think you get the idea already so that's what you have to do in order to make sure that uh, it is more precise because shadow considered as blue now let's, let's check it out i'm going to go to the extreme end so i'm going to raise the exposure like this again i'm going to turn it on further you have to turn it on excuse me and then i'm going to raise the exposure or reduce the exposure and you can see the difference already just impacting the blue nothing else well same philosophy for the the bottom part for instance if i go at the green at the bottom it selects all the green at the bottom well and then with this slider you can do a nice fade to make sure that it's not very weird and that's about it or you can do selective like a hue the HSL, you can select a different color if you want to manually instead of using the dropper. And then you can ap imply, apply all the editing possible. What else do you have? You have, uh, I'm going to delete both. Select it. I'm going to delete it both. Auto. Okay, you have this thing. I don't know. It's available in DX of Film Pack 7 or higher. It's a mask. So you have to buy the Film Pack 7. Uh, in order to use this uh, this mask luminosity mask that's what i understood that's a shame but it doesn't really matter mm, auto mask i never understood how that works so let's take a look i never understood so if i click it so auto mask size erasure select and select to duplicate mask inner circle will keep covered area selected and pa, 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 pa. so if i do that for instance what happens after i have no idea if somebody could enlighten me that would be nice so if i i can see it now and then what here you can see the local adjustment in the image. Each adjustment has a distinct appearance the st sticking under the layer with no impact on the final result. So auto max mask option. So what happens exactly? Okay, that's my question. Question of the day. Let's do that. Okay. So it seems to me it's time to use the artificial intelligence to select the, the majority of the color, if I understand properly. Because if I slow down, it does not uh, making the whole thing darker. It's honestly to me seems to be a bit more difficult than it should be.
So I'm going to stop using it and wasting your time because it seems to be, you know, the normal brush seems to be nice and easy. I select whatever necessary. And if I reduce the exposure, it does the good old classic um, change. The, the automatic brush is just the opposite. It kind of try to guess your um, desired area and then try to do it on your own. Then you have the gradient. Guys, really not going to waste your time with the gradient. Honestly, I mean, it just doesn't make any sense. You know exactly how they are. You have the control line, control line and control point. Uh, they're almost the same, for instance, with it's like a hybrid of control point and control line. So if you want the whole, everything of the control point and a gradient this is your friend and it changes based on the based on the the, 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 the hue obviously wherever you're pointing it is going to select the whole part for instance this time is going to be focusing on the sky or blue hue if I understood correctly there is a dropper. I don't know why that's for. Ah, so dropper are going to help you to be even a bit more precise. There you go. So even if I go at the bottom, it's going to select the green. So you can use the gradient, but you can use the dropper to select exactly where you want to imply the your majority of your editing using the control line within that zone. Mm, kinda good, but then the gradient, it's like a gradient again, but you have a dropper, essentially, that's all. But, but it would be a bit more precise. In my opinion, they shouldn't keep it. They should get rid of a gradient. They should get rid of this this automatic brush. God knows, I mean, it makes it the job a bit more, bit more difficult. Or you keep the auto mask and then get rid of the normal brush. Uh, because, uh, oh, hue mask does almost everything based on the color. You know, you have uh, two amazing, three amazing tools. Gradient, uh, control point, control line, um, hue mask, and maybe one of the two brushes. And then you have the eraser, obviously, to get rid of, uh, get rid of uh, your... Uh, uh, undesired area right so let's get to the business so I'm going to do that on the on the on the on the mountain and then I'll do some clear view plus micro contrast a little bit yellow little bit tint slightly bit more sharpness and that's it and then you have we have what else the the hue then drop you have the brush make sure the brush completely getting rid of the rest of the area And then maybe the reduced exposure, a touch, a little bit more intensity, a little bit more, less highlight. And that's it. Hang on a second. And then finishing up quickly at the global area. So global, it's the clear view plus. A bit too intense for my test. Exposure. Takes a smart lighting. It's already on, so that's that's amazing. And then lens softness correction. Prime. Where is my distortion? Our distortion should be here horizon crop 
Automatic. Because life is too short. Maybe a bit more boost in the gamma. Slight touch on the contrast. Slight touch on the highlight. I'll go back to my uh, local uh, local adjustment. And pretty much it. I mean, my editing might suck at this point, obviously. <laughs> but the objective of this video is to show you how the basic tools work, especially in the local adjustment, and try to give you a global idea and then show you the new tools. I, I hope you like this, uh, this editing. If so, please uh, go down in the description below and make sure you download the software for yourself to try it out. Look after yourself and bye-bye.